My name is Stuart Priest and I'm an infrastructure consultant for eHealth. My normal duties involve working with our eHealth business analysts and project leads, as well as colleagues across different departments and specialties to implement new, better and innovative ways of working, all with the single goal of providing positive outcomes for our patients. With the onset of COVID-19, my normal duties changed. Before, I was working on the rollout of Office 365, but there was a temporary shift to rolling out Microsoft Teams to everyone in the board and all the support requirements that brings. In addition, I've been responsible for all the technical aspects related to the rollout of iPads for the patient-centered virtual visiting program. We've been able to rapidly deploy hundreds of iPads throughout all our acute sites to ensure our patients are able to talk to friends, family and others at a time when they need it most. We've also worked with our contacts in Apple's healthcare team, both in the UK and Cupertino, to secure access to special features only being made available to healthcare providers. COVID-19 has affected family life profoundly. I've got two young children and my wife works as a nurse. Due to the massive uptake of the childcare scheme for key workers in Western Bartonshire, my children weren't offered places. So on the days where my wife is working, I'll work from home and the days she's off, I'll be in the office. Anyone working from home and trying to entertain children will tell you it's no picnic. So trying to balance my own work, keeping the younger child entertained and supervising the schoolwork of the older one has been a challenge, but I've been well supported by my line management. I'm particularly proud of the work our team have done for the patient-centered virtual visiting program. Everything we do in eHealth will in some indirect way affect our patients and their outcomes, but this is one of those rare occasions where our work directly impacts our patients in a positive way. The value of these iPads and what they are being used for cannot be understated, and I think they'll be in place for a very long time.